today is just going to show you some little tricks on your iPod Touch or iPhone that you may not have, have noticed before. So, um, let's just say, uh, like for installer, you have to go to installer and it's called Advanced Preferences. You just go to Alphabetically and, you know, usually like that, the settings would start from General and go all the way down, but you can see it has, um, you know, Airplane Mode, Log Power, and then here it has advanced searches where you can make the battery level instead of that bar you can make it um, numbers so that could be handy or Wi-Fi strength numbers or cloaking which is like invisible fake time stuff like that and then this one's cool like the dock or the home button where if you click the home button twice where is it gonna go your music player or your home your app favorites stuff like that and sound and speakers that can be really cool like sound you know clicker you know stuff like that time passing thumbs up just cool stuff like that that can you know be cool now as you can tell my apps they're um you know they're different from their original default but the cool thing is when i go to music um, you can see that the color is actually goldish yellow instead of blue. So, um, that's a change because it's the, the, um, where is it? Um, when you go to installer, it's called Mo, Mode Pack, uh, one, I think it's 1.1.1, 1 .1 1, and, um, it's something actually pretty cool. It just changes the color. So if you don't like blue, or you know, if if you, cause they have pink and and they have um, different kinds. So it should be where is it? So advanced preferences, that's the one I was talking about. And mo yeah, mode pack. That will change the color. And there's eye pink where it makes it pink. And I have touch mode vibe. Now there's two different kinds of the VoIP where you can call like my microphone's not ordered yet. Um I ordered it, so you know, but this one's a better one because you don't have to like sign in and stuff. You just make your own account online and then you press the dial and then it's phone. So it's actually kind of a better one than the one that maybe iTouch Master, um, iPod Touch Master has. Now this is a cool one, it's PDF, this is just an example. I have like the iPod Touch Features Guide, and it goes, um, you know, it's like a PDF, and you can, um, you know, zoom in and zoom out, stuff like that, that's cool. So PDF, anything you want, from the cute FTP, this one, is um pretty cool it's uh called eye switcher which is like it's sort of like um a summer board except it gives you different ones that you might like so it changes everything because sometimes you, you know when you're trying to get a summer board theme it changes only like a couple of the a icons and everyone everything else the same but you know everything changes so the one that i have they have a lot of different ones the one i have is here they have, you know, Green Leopard, they have, um, you know, they have Mario ones, these are cool, they're going to have new ones out soon. Um, they have, you know, some iPhone ones, some Leaf ones, Time Machine ones, Ocean, and stuff like that, that's really cool. Um, and this is what I like about Facebook, um, like apps, you know, how, you know, saying that, like, if you get the 1.3, the new software you get like Facebook you can put new websites on but this is and then so I can do the exact same thing I mean I have Facebook here dig and Nexopia and you know there's much more and and there is um, G Game Boy Advance games so like Sonic the Hedgehog which I love this game this is a really good game so Blah, blah.
you know, just the usual, you know, just the usual, you know, well, I can't do both hands, but you know what I mean. And it's really cool. So. And there's PlayStation 1 games, too. They're almost exactly the same as Game Boy Advance, but if you get different versions. Now, I like this one, Lyrics. Now, I don't have anything playing right now, but say you're playing a song, and you go to this program while it's playing, it will give you the lyrics. Now, it might not fit for every single, like, song. It might not have all the lyrics for every single song in your library, but it's really good to have, like, if you don't know what they're saying. So, I really like that app, and it works really good for me. A boss tool. This is the thing like free disk space. This is how you get like you know how when you get those pop-ups when you're installing or you're downloading something from the installer it says like um you know like you have not much disk space left you should delete videos or something. Well this free disk space if you go here and you go all to the way at the bottom it will instead it will say move apps and it won't do anything to it, it'll just move it to a bigger hard drive because you're downloading the stuff on a smaller disk hard drive in the iPod. So at the bottom it will say, app, do you want to move, blah, blah. You press it, do it, and then see mine, it'll move it. So you won't get that thing anymore. Um, that's really cool. There's Guitar Hero, Tap Tap Revolution, you know, NES games. Ebooks. Ebooks are really cool. Like I have a lot of I have Harry Potter, Da Vinci Code, Angels and Demons. That's my favorite book ever. Um there's more coming. So and add ons. They have two different add ons or customize, sorry. There's I customize or just customize from different product like from producers and they have more stuff, I don't know, different kinds. So yeah, so I hope you liked this video and there's more to come. So see you guys later.